is the Range Rover Velar Special Vehicle Operations Autobiography Dynamic Edition. And what you need to know about it is that it has a very long name to remember. But keeping all jokes aside, this is the most powerful version of the Velar currently on sale with the supercharged V8 under the hood. And this relatively understated SUV is Britain's answer to the likes of the BMW X6M and the Mercedes AMG GLE 63 Coupe. What is instantly noticeable about the design of the Velar is that unlike its German rivals that look a bit out of proportion, the designers haven't just taken the front of a Range Rover Sport, put a slanted roof on it and pushed it out as an SUV Coupe. They've actually spent some time designing it and even more so with this particular version as they had to balance its sporty appearance with aerodynamic efficiency. This high performance version gets a different bumper from the standard car with larger air intakes, a new grille, 22 inch gloss grey alloy wheels, red brake calipers, body coloured side cladding and a new rear bumper. There are a lot of changes but they are quite subtle. In contrast to the exterior, the interior is far from understated and that is because this high performance version receives the SVR treatment with bright red leather, red paddle shifters and Alcantara on the pillars and headliner. To complement that, there's plenty of piano black trim all around the cabin and stunning carbon fiber inserts that embellish the door panels. While the materials are phenomenal as you would expect, the design is very minimal and that is made possible by two 10-inch screens that sit one above the other and three physical knobs. The beauty is that they are dynamic, meaning they let you control many, many things. If you're in the AC menu, they let you control fan speed and temperature. If you're in the seat menu, they let you control seat heating and cooling. If you're in the drive mode selection, they let you shuffle through the various drive modes. They really are multifunctional. Space in the back is on the tighter side, but it is still better than its German rivals. And that is thanks to the Velar's relatively straight roof. The seats do heat and recline and it's great to see that those in the back get cup holders and independent controls for the AC system from those in the front, meaning they can independently control the fan speed, temperature and direction of airflow. In terms of features, this high performance version of the Velar is just as well equipped as any other model in the Range Rover lineup, meaning it's got every feature imaginable, with some of its most notable being 20-way power adjustable front seats that are heated, cooled and massaged, a 17-speaker Meridian audio system, a panoramic roof and drive assist features such as adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, lane keeping assist and auto emergency braking. So, it looks good, it's built well and it has a lot of cool features. But quite frankly, that's not what this car is about. If you remember, in the start of this review, I mentioned that this is the most powerful version of the Velar. And so driving and driving dynamics are very much the focus. Under the hood is a 5-litre supercharged V8 that produces 550 horsepower and 680 newton meters of torque. Yes. 550 horsepower and 680 newton meters of torque and just let that sink in because this is a family suv there are proper sports cars in the market that do not even come close to producing that kind of power of course being a land rover there's plenty of drive modes including a dedicated sand mode and mud mode as well as locking differentials and a low traction launch to help you get moving on things like loose sand or snow but that is not what this version of the Velar was built for. Zooming from 0 to 100 in 4.5 seconds, that is what this Velar is built for. Hitting a top speed of 275 kilometers per hour, that is what this Velar is built for. Sticking to the road and allowing you to take corners in terrifying speeds, that is what this Velar is built for. It does things it should not. It handles better than any SUV I have ever driven. And I never thought I'd say this, but I finally found a sporty SUV 
that is fun to drive. It almost feels like under its big SUV body is a sports car that's waiting to be unleashed and that's because of things like its throaty exhaust note that makes it sound like a muscle car. vectoring and the possibility to tweak things like engine response, steering feedback and how quickly the 8-speed gearbox shifts through gears. If you've stuck around this far into the review, then you'd know by now that this is not just any Velar. It is a pretty special SUV and with all the work that the designers and engineers have put into it, I expected it to cost anywhere between 550 to 600,000 dirhams. But could you imagine my surprise when I found out that this very car costs just 480,000 dirhams? Don't get me wrong, it's still a heck load of money, but for some strange reason it just feels so worth it. Thanks for watching.